Trigger finger is a tightening and inflammation of the A1 pulley of the flexor sheath system. There are four grades. Grade one is tenderness at the A1 pulley. Grade two is an obvious triggering of the finger, which can be relieved by the force of the patient's own extension. Grade 3A is triggering, which is only relieved by the force of the patient's other hand extending the finger. Grade 3B is an inability to flex the finger. And grade 4 is when there is secondary stiffness of the proximal interphalangeal joint. In grade 4 trigger finger, it is important to explain the pathology to the patient. This is so that they are not surprised when, after complete release of the triggering, that they are unable to put the finger into full extension and require occupational therapy. I will now demonstrate the trigger finger surgery. It is a day surgery procedure done under local anesthetic. The total time taken should not be more than 45 minutes, including placement of the tourniquet and draping of the patient. The local anesthetic, lignocaine or bupivacaine or a mixture, is injected just proximal to the transverse palmar crease along the ray of the finger. Four mils should suffice. In this case, the patient's hand and forearm have been prepared with iodine and a disposable drape applied. The iodine is cleaned off with a second sterilization of chlorhexidine. The preferred incision is a transverse crease incision at the base of the A1 pulley. The incision is placed where the flexor tendons enter the pulley system. To find this axis, I place the base of the forceps over the caval tunnel where the two twines point towards the finger. The limits of the incision are made with dots and a single knife stroke opens up the wound for a distance of about one centimeter. The next step is exposure of the A1 pulley. The scissors are inserted vertically until the rubbery resistance of the pulley is felt and the scissors are opened longitudinally in the axis of the finger. Retractors gently open the wound and the proximal aspect of the A1 pulley is exposed. Tissue is cleared superficial to the pulley. Often when previous steroid injections have been given, there is thickening of the fat and some scar tissue. The blades of the scissors are opened to about 10 degrees and the inferior blade is inserted for the entire length of the pulley and the scissors are closed. The surgeon should feel a crunch as the thick transverse fibers of the A1 pulley are cut. Next, the PA pulley is released in the same way. Complete release is first verified by opening up the scissors on top of the flexor tendons. Secondly, by pulling on the flexor tendons with a tendon hook, the deep and superficial tendons can also be released from each other as often fibrous adhesions develop between the two tendons. The patient can also be asked to open and close the finger to verify that the triggering has been released. The incision is closed with absorbable monofilament sutures and a compression bandage is applied for the next few days.